Tonight, some people are protesting the mask mandate. A group of families is calling for the end of the statewide mandate. And those parents protested outside their children's schools in Stanislaus County and inside students who didn't wear a mask were being moved out of their classroom. Casey Area 3's Lise Mitri joins us right now live in Oakdale with the parents and the district's response to all this. Colson parents here told us after seeing images of the governor at the 49ers game over the weekend maskless, if he doesn't have to follow the rules, they say, why should they have to? So today at schools here in Oakland, in Oakdale, excuse me, uh, some students went to class without a mask on. At Fair Oaks Elementary School in Oakdale today, a group of families rallied together. Let your kids choose. You know, let all of us choose to get out their message about masks, protesting the statewide mandate requiring them indoors at school. You have every right to not wear a mask if that's what you choose to do. And Jennifer Poff says that's what her eight year old son chose to do yesterday. Poff got a call from the school about it. They called me and asked me to pick him up and I refused. I said, no, it is your job to educate my son and he has every right to be there. She was upset when she learned what happened next to her son and another maskless student. They forced him to go outside in 43 degree weather and sit there and try to do schoolwork. We talked to Oakdale Joint Unified School District Superintendent Dave Klein about it. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, that was a miscalculation on my part and I took responsibility for that. I apologize to, to both parents that that took place. Uh, the, that is not how we want to treat our students. We still want to be respectful. Today, more students district wide went to class without a mask. Klein says it amounted to a little over 200 out of roughly 5,200 students. I respect their beliefs and I respect their rights to protest. Um, however, we're, we're under the state mandate and the state mandate carries the force of law. This time, schools found somewhere indoors for maskless students, like a cafeteria or a gym, where they could independently do their schoolwork. Klein says it's supervised, but it's a collection of students in different grades and classes, so they're not with their teacher. They're missing out on their, inst their, their instruction with their teacher, and uh, we have excellent teachers here. Uh, they're doing a, a great job considering the circumstances. Uh, and we want our students in the classroom. But parents say they'll continue to let their kids make the decision on masks, not the state. At what point do we say no more? So we are saying no more. The superintendent says he's trying to accommodate students as best as he can. So he says, for instance, students could take a mask break, maybe step eight and out of class and take that mask off for a bit. But he says uh, he can't jeopardize the well-being of the school district by violating the state mandate. Live in Oakdale, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, a lot of frustration out there, Lizay. Thank you for that. And uh, school district officials say that if they don't follow the mask mandate, they could risk losing funding.